All right, in this lesson, uh, what we're going to do is talk about the pen tool. Right over here on the left-hand side of your, your screen is the uh, pen tool. And we're going to specifically talk about the tools that are a part of this tool in the sub-selection menu. Uh, when you click your cursor or when you select this pen tool and hold that selection with your cursor or with your mouse, you'll notice that you get a nice little flyout menu and inside this menu we have more tools um, we're going to be uh, using and talking about the add anchor point tool and the delete anchor point tool and this will uh, be a uh, sort of an add-on to the previous lesson alright so today what we're going to do in this uh, little description for you is to show you how to add anchor points and notice I'm using the add anchor point tool here nothing's happening that's because I I have to create a line segment a path with this uh, tool before I can put an anchor point or add an anchor point or delete an anchor point off of it so let's go ahead and select the pen tool and let's create a shape and I'm just gonna create a basic shape like I did on the previous lesson I don't mind if it's not a perfect shape. Um, in fact, I don't want it to be a perfect shape, as as even as like before when I was discussing this before. So it's fine that it's a little bit off center and and it's not in uh, perfectly straight lines. We'll we'll learn later how to make things perfectly uh, straight vertical lines or horizontal lines and how to make everything look uh, as if it was created by the computer uh, on its own. All right, so now. Uh, we've got these uh, these little square boxes here, and what are these called? These are called anchor points. And with these anchor points, we can uh, select these lines that we've created and bend them. Okay, so we can take this line and uh, do something else with it. All right. Now to bend this line, we need to select our convert anchor point tool. And once we place the convert anchor point tool over the top of that anchor point we can then click and drag. Okay, so that's just the basics of, of what we're working with here. Now, I'm going to undo what I, I just did, and I'm going to go to the Edit menu and Undo, and it'll revert or go back to what it previously was before I changed it. Now, let's say uh, I'm not happy with my design. I, I've decided that something's not right about it. I want to add uh, some anchor points, or I want to add uh, some line in here. So what I'm going to do is find my anchor point add tool and there we go and I'm going to add some anchor points so I can change this because I can't make it uh, look the way I want it to look without more anchor points so you know if you determine that you know what I, I need to change this I need to make it better I need to change the way it looks well then maybe you need to add some anchor points and notice when I added my anchor points I took this tool and I had to place it right above the point of the tool right on or above the line that I have already created and that's what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to create just by moving my cursor over that spot and then selecting that spot with my mouse and clicking with my mouse and then placing an, a new anchor point there okay and I'm going to do this around uh, this image here all right and we'll add those two. Now, once I've added these anchor points, I can now use them just like any other anchor point. Okay, just like any other anchor point. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select and I'm going to get the direct selection cursor and I'm going to be able to place it over any of the anchor points and I can now, you know, move and drag them where I want. Now, just as a, re, uh, a reminder from the previous lesson, if I come over and select this uh, tool or this, this object that I've drawn with this tool, with this cursor, notice I selected inside the anchor points uh, are not, they're solid blue. They're, they're very small, but they're solid blue, and they're not enlarging when I place over it. They're, they're highlighting, but they're not really doing what I want. And so I can't move the individual anchor points. It moves the whole object when I do that. So what I need to do is deselect and then select on the line with this cursor and now it activates these anchor points 
so that I can use them correctly, okay? Or so that I can now uh, activate them and, and move these anchor points where I want. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna take these anchor points and move them into a different position, the ones that I added so that I can make my letter or whatever shape it is, it can be any shape. I just wanna add more uh, anchor points so that I can uh, recreate what I've drawn here. Okay, I come up with a better idea at the last second. Okay, add some anchor points, and there we go. And you'll notice I didn't um, add enough anchor points here. Or I'll just move this up here and make this look a little more natural. Oh, and I forgot to add an anchor point here. So I need to reselect this anchor point tool, and I need to add another uh, two anchor points. And notice I'm, I'm making a change here, but I'm adding two anchor points. Okay, and so I need to reselect. Now notice when I selected my, my direct selection tool, I, I don't have to deselect and reselect. They're already activated because they're not dark blue anchor points. If they were dark blue, I need to reactivate them. And so I need to deselect and then reselect on the line. So let's go ahead and change this. And we'll move this one up here. Make it look a little better. And there you go. Uh, now we've got our uh, different shape M. Of course, these lines are not perfect. We can still uh, try to uh, reorganize them, make them look a little neater, uh, make them look a little straighter, or just give them a little uh, bit of a flare look and uh, make things look a little more or well organized. And you know, this, this just goes with how do I want my project or my object to look at the end when I'm creating this, uh, you know, what do I, what, what am I drawing? So really, I'm, I'm not drawing anything in particular here other than I'm just trying to give you an example uh, of what this might uh, begin to look like as I change it and begin to work with it and uh, make it look a little more professional, a little more uh, tighter lines and, uh, you know, how do I do that? So. There you go, now I've, I've changed this. It looks a little more uh, nice and neat than when it, we first started, okay? Uh, also remember previous lesson, we have our selection and our direct selection. What are the difference between these two? Well, if I take my direct selection tool and select this object, I cannot move the individual anchor points. I can select them and click and move and drag, but it will not do anything else. It'll just move the object as a whole. Um, I can also just click, drag, and select any object uh, with you know dragging that little selection box with my selection cursor, and I can have multiple objects that I grab. I can also uh, grab my direct selection tool one more time, and notice once I select it, it doesn't do anything. It moves it just like the previous cursor, but I don't want that. Uh, I have to deselect it outside, anywhere outside the object, then select on the line, and then I can move these anchor points anywhere I want. Now, what if I wanna delete an anchor point? Well, I'm gonna get my delete anchor point tool and simply begin to delete anchor points that I don't need, okay? And it'll take me back to my, well, close to my original. I've made a lot, quite a few changes here, actually, and so it's not gonna take me all the way back. I would have to probably revert all the way back. There you go. Uh, I hope this lesson was helpful for you. Uh, you'll be able to try this out on your own computer with your own designs, okay? If you need any help, call me, ask me for help, and uh, I just hope that you're, selects, uh, that you're successful with this, and uh, good luck to you in class. If you need my help, uh, come and let me know.